What is up guys, welcome to the best Italian squad builder in my opinion. This is my personal opinion on who I think plays the best in each of these positions. Now don't get mis mixed up between Serie A and an Italian squad. This is a pure uh, national team Italian squad. So don't get mixed up by saying, oh, where's Cavani? Where's Campagnaro? And you know, that sort of bullshit. Anyway, this team costs over 2 million coins. So it is going to be an expensive one. But you can always downgrade and play with the non-informs if you want. Or you can just buy coins from UT coin traders their link will be in the description and also if you guys want to see the best silver Italian team that I have ever used make sure you hit that like button so I see how many people want to see it so to begin with we're gonna be playing that 3-5-2 formation because in my opinion in Serie A that is the best formation to try out so we have team of the season Marchetti he has made me some really awesome saves in the game and sometimes he has you know let some stupid goals in but to me um, he is the best goalkeeper that is Italian in this team so um, I did try team of the season yeah some of you might be saying was team of the season Buffon but I think this guy is better than Buffon Buffon made too many stupid mistakes for my liking so I left him out and got team of the season Marchetti so moving on to our first center back he's gonna be in the middle it is gonna be team of the season Barzali, he is uh, he's just a wall in that middle of the pit, he's in the middle of the center back. He doesn't let anyone through his standing tackle, he reaches you from anywhere. It's just amazing how strong this guy is. And look at this, it says 73 pace, he feels much faster than that. He feels around 78 or something like that. He is really, really good. Probably one of my favorite center backs from this team. Next one we have, we're going to be putting um, team, uh, sorry, Inform Chiellini. He is, uh, I don't really have to talk much about Chiellini. You know how overpowered he is for a defender. He's one of the best defenders in this game, an ultimate team. And he is just 81 pace. That is all you need. And he's covered you on the wings. So no one's going to be running past Chiellini. Way too fast for um, any pace abusers. Then we have team of the season, Bucchetti. Look at defense. Look at the defense. So solid. No one's going to get past this look at this and we have a team of season for Ketty. look at that 80 pace as well so two very fast center backs and one average fast center back which is much stronger than both of these on the wings I felt he was probably the best center back in this team believe it or not even though he's not as fast but he is so strong and he is you have to try his stand tackle uh, stand tackle out once you do it try it out you will be amazed how awesome he is now our first uh, center defensive midfielder is going to be Marquisio. As you guys know, he has high attacking work rate and high defensive work rate. So he's all over the pitch, always working hard to protect you, always working hard to get your goals in. And it's just Marquisio, you know, he's really good. In, he's really decent in this team. Not as good as my second CDM, though. I love this guy. He is Montelivo, an amazing central defensive midfielder. In the clips after this uh, squad builder, you will see him scoring a long shot. He's just covered you in that central defensive midfield position. He has really good look at defensive stats are 73 and look at his overall stats they're really really good except his heading he doesn't cover you in the air much but um, you're gonna have to deal with that I guess um, our right midfield disappointingly is a non-inform but he is the best one to use is Maggio look at this he's got 85 pace and really amazing defensive stats so no one's gonna get past him in that right midfield position because of how over well not overpowered but how strong he is and in the air he is amazing he, he scored me a couple of headers you'll see that in the clips after this and uh, he scored me an amazing long shot so if you're scared to take long shots this guy is really awesome at it. if you know how to do if you know how to do the long shot from uh, facing away from the goal this guy can do it so our left midfield is no other than team of the season in El Sharawi. He is amazing. He will set up your goals. He's another playmaker. He's like a pillow in left midfield. He's just simply um, dribbling past defenders, scoring goals, finesse shots. It doesn't matter. This guy is so awesome to cut in once you run down the wing with him. Just cut in and dribble past a couple of defenders, shoot it or take long shots from left midfield. He can do anything from that position. Really amazing uh, left midfielder. Sorry. So center attack midfielder we have in form Mikkeli. Some of you might be saying where's team of the season Diamante and I really hated Diamante. He is no good. I think Probably, probably his best position is centre midfield. I don't know. I just really hate Diamante. I could not deal with him, so I replaced him 
in for Mikadi and Mikadi scored me some amazing shots in this game so you will see um, uh, some goals um, after this squad builder really amazing player center attack midfielder he has probably the best free kicks in well one of the p best players with the best free kick stats in this game if you haven't checked them out go check his in-game stats for for his free kicks they are simply amazing his curve is amazing his shooting is amazing long shots he's got everything this guy is tiny but so effective on the pitch you won't see anyone like him he's just simply and he doesn't even go for much let me just show you guys um i forgot to show you how much they're going for so marchetti look how much 114k i bought him for barzelli 159k um inform chiellini 220k i might have paid um overpaid for some of these players though because i did bin um i just checked the uh, lowest bin and i just binned them so 89k for team season buchetti uh team season ashrawi we have it we bought him for 281k and um, Marquisio, we bought him for 145k. And Montelivo, we got him for 38k. And Maggio, 1k. He's the cheapest in this team, of course, because he's not he's the only non inform in this team. And then we have Mikeli, who cost me only 110k. So moving on to our strikers, this guy is pretty much a cheat in this game. He shouldn't even be in this game because he's so amazing on the pitch. He is just too much. 80 look at that 90 pace 89 shooting and 90 dribbling and this guy's heading is so overpowered he's going me so many headers his heading 79 in his on his uh card stats that is that is bullshit because he's going me so many headers nearly every single cross i i crossed to him he will score over his head and he was more effective in the penalty area than outside of it he didn't get me too many shots um from outside the area but he was very very awesome at finishing anything in the penalty area so he's amazing at that and anyone that played with the non-informed balotelli we we'll already know how overpowered this guy is strong and amazing and that's exactly what you need now I always in my squads let me know if this is if you do the same thing where you play a very strong striker with a very fast striker at the same time but he isn't that uh, strong we have team of the season dinner Tale probably one of my favorite players in this team of um, after Balotelli I love Balotelli more than Di Natale of course Balotelli is amazing but Di Natale is your playmaker in striker look he has 89 dribbling for a striker and um, 89 passing for sorry 93 dribbling for a striker and 89 passing that is amazing stats for a striker 94 shooting and 92 um, pace so his shooting you could feel a big difference between his team and season card and his second in form and this is how much I bought him for 773k is he worth it yes he is worth it because you will see a couple of nice goals with him and he just sets you up he's your he could take free kicks for you he could do so many things for you he's just amazing his card like he's just all balanced four star weak foot and four star skills so he's amazing same with Balotelli he has four star weak foot and four star skills he's six foot two four 650k very very awesome squad this is so this is the final squad guys um it's amazing i tried to change maggio to make it a full inform squad or team of season squad i guess with no non-informs but this player in Serie in Siri B it wasn't that good. I tried him out. He only had pace and nothing else, so he wasn't exactly that good uh, in my opinion. So if you want to try him out, maybe you can. If you want to make a full informed squad, but other than that, I thought Maggio was better. If you want to lower it down, you could try out uh, taking out one of these centre backs, put Ogbonna in there. So it will be much cheaper if you just get the non informs if you want. But this team is amazing. If you guys want. To try out it costs just above two million coins now i'm going to show some clips of goals i scored with this team also if you enjoyed it i'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you want to see an italian silver team that i think is the best to be played with make sure you hit that like button and i'll see how many of you want to see that so i hope you guys enjoyed it and as usual guys i really hope you have a very nice day